Hey guys, I got pretty good news today. We can finally play Stadia on iOS devices such as this iPad or an iPhone, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Anyways, let's just get started. It won't be with your Stadia app, so that's not the way it's gonna work. It's gonna work through Google Chrome. So just download Google Chrome, which is a free app. It's a web browser. And from here, we're just gonna go into Stadia. So once we go into Stadia, we just launch up that and we're gonna get this. So from here, I do have two games. Now you don't need Stadia Pro in order to play, as you may know. If you have it, great, it's a good subscription. If not, you can go ahead and play whichever games you bought. So in this case, I have this one, that demo at this point. So let's just start with Doom. Now just a quick warning, touch itself is not gonna work. So right now we can see this. So try touch gamepad, not gonna work, okay? So don't even try it. Right now we're just gonna sync up our controller in order for Stadia to work. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to sync it. So let's go ahead. There we go, I think it got synced. Yep, yeah, it's synced up. Obviously the code for you would be different if it shows pretty different for everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Yes, it works just fine. Unfortunately, yes, we still need a controller in order for it to work. And no, you don't just need the Stadia controller. I could have just hooked up right here, my Xbox controller. This one's compatible since it's a Bluetooth controller. So I could have had that working, but I only have this at the moment that I really wanted to try instead of my other controller. I do have a video showing you how to sync up your Xbox or PlayStation controller to your iPad or iPhone, it's the exact same deal, which is just going to your Bluetooth settings really. But anyways, uh, let's just get started with the game. I'm gonna turn off the lights so we can see the screen better. Doom is a dark game after all. Let me just turn on the light so it goes this way, doesn't get in the way too much. There we go. So right now we should be able to See the screen a little bit better. Do want you guys to see that it works just fine with the controller itself. And uh, I'm gonna turn off the brightness all the way. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go into load games. I think I left it at somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, I thought I had something saved. That kind of sucks. Bring it on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. So it's a little laggy for me right now. Um, don't think it's my internet, because my internet's actually pretty good. Now let me just move this up a little bit more so you guys can see my controller in action. And see that the video itself is not lag, it's the game. But the point of this video is to show you that Stadia doesn't work fat work right now with iOS devices, which is something we've been waiting for for a long time actually. It's not perfect, but it's getting a little bit smoother. A little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> So with the lag, it is a little hard to play, but it's working. Hopefully for you guys, it's gonna work a little bit better. Right now I'm gonna show you on an iPhone how Stadia works. This was on an iPad. All right guys, so right here I have a slightly older iPhone. It doesn't have to be an old iPhone. <laughs> it can be a newer one. Just wanna show you that it does work with older iPhones. And here's my Stadia controller. So we're gonna sync that up and we're gonna get playing with Stadia. So of course it's the same deal. We just need Google Chrome. That's the web browser, download it, it's free. So on Google Chrome, I'm just gonna go into stadia.com, right here, Stadia. I'm gonna go ahead and click on there. I'm gonna launch this up, so I will make this work with this controller, but we can also do touch. I'm not 100% sure why touch doesn't work on an iPad. It should work if it works on an iPhone, but maybe that's something that they're working on. Anyways, we're gonna get started with Doom, for example. Now, again, I don't need to have a subscription. I can just play whatever games I own. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and sync up my controller. So right now it's telling me to sync it up that way. Okay, so that's B. All right, let's just leave it like that for now. And 10% battery, which is not good. So let's make this video fast. <laughs> Dang. Okay, there we go. So it's synced up. Now again, touch does work on an iPhone. iPads, not sure why not. Uh, they might fix that by the time this video comes out anyways. There we go, I just want to make sure my brightness was at its max. And we're gonna go into new game. Yeah, whatever. And you're gonna get started with playing, so let me just move my camera a little bit. There we go. And let's move around. Now when I did play this on my iPad, it was very laggy for some reason. I'm not sure why. Right now it feels pretty good. I am gonna restart the game just because something is going on with it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna restart it just to see that everything's working fine. So I'm starting from up here. Yeah, it's lagging out a little bit right now, so that's why I restarted it. Still lagging a little bit more. Alright. Let's see what happens. Did run pretty smooth the first time. Right now it's also just fine. Okay, so yes, it's doing okay. Anyways, just want to show you guys that it does actually work. And uh, it's not perfect. It does lag out, that's why I have to restart it, just to make sure. And that's it for this video. So that's how you guys can play Stadia right here on your iPhone or your iPad. Hopefully Apple will get the app working on iPhone or iPad. As long as they update Google Chrome, this should work a little bit better, a bit more smooth. But anyways, that would be it for this video. That's how you guys can play Stadia right now here on your iPhone. And make sure you guys have enough battery in order to play, not like me. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.